Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and do a face cam. I'm doing this not only to maybe get a better connection with you guys, but also my portrait that I did today is not super duper crazy or interesting, so, you know, just adding more visual interest to the video. Uh, I'm gonna try and make this a little bit more organized. I did a voiceover and it was kind of scrambly. Alright, you've probably seen the title. Um, and I don't know, I want to give a few tips not to be discouraged by your art but it's hard to pinpoint tips. But being discouraged by your art is something that is super common. I think one of the easiest things to not be as discouraged is to realize that it's all around um, and to not let it like really pull you down. Just realize that everybody gets discouraged by their art. Uh, even the great masters probably didn't enjoy their art the first time they did it. That's why, you know, Mona Lisa took years to complete and that's because he kept on reworking and reworking and reworking. We bleh, cannot talk reworking it um but yeah I'm someone who prefers to just you know not like a piece and then move on uh, and I think that helps me personally but some people rather correct their mistakes uh and the reason why I say that is or in my opinion I think just moving on is easier is because I rather not overanalyze my art I think that's what makes me most discouraged um because if I do make something that I enjoy then I like it and I'm proud of it, but if I keep on staring at it, eventually I'm a perfectionist and I will eventually find something wrong. And so if you keep on looking at it and trying to find something wrong with it, you will eventually find something wrong. You'll be like, oh, that color isn't correct, or oh, that finger looks weird, or she looks a little cross-eyed, which a lot of my people do look a little cross-eyed because I tend to make their pupils closer together so they don't look wall-eyed, and I kind of overcompensate, I think. Uh, but I don't know, I've been drawing for three years, so there have been three years where I've not liked my art. Um, and I mean, I'm not saying that, like, I don't like any of my art. I do like a good amount of it, like, um, sorry, it's on my wall over here, but the Jamie's Flowers painting I did, I do really like it, and I like the concept, but I don't like the shading. <laughs> That's one thing that I don't like about that painting. I like it, but I don't like the shading or the hair, but, um, I don't know, I still enjoy it and I think it's a good thing to enjoy your art and not overanalyze your art and that's kind of I don't know I'm probably just trying to drive it into the ground at this point uh but you know a lot of artists do deal with not liking their art uh, there's this one video on YouTube I know of it was like does depression cause art or does art cause depression and I don't think it causes depression, um, because, you know, depression is a chemical imbalance in your brain, but, um, I think depression can cause art because, you know, I think a good way to help alleviate sadness, um, is to express yourself, and I think art is one of the greatest ways to do that. Um, I'm an advocate for art. I enjoy it very much, uh, you can probably tell, but, um, a lot of people say, or some people say that, art causes depression. I don't think it does. I just think it can cause us to be hypercritical um, because, you know, artists want to strive to be better in their art. You know, you're creating something and you always want it to be better. Just like with yourself, you always want to improve yourself and, you know, better yourself or for your health or personality, being kind to people and stuff like that. Um, but with art, you're always looking to improve and you always, you know, ask people for critiques. I know I'm on an amino thing that is specific for art critiques, and I like them to figure out what's wrong and then fix it, but, uh, you know, some people can't handle critiques, and I know sometimes I can't, because sometimes I'm like, I'm really proud of this, and someone will be like, oh yeah, you know, I like it, but your hand is backwards, and I'm like, oh dang, that sucks, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I was always looking for critiques and always looking for things to improve can also cause us to be hypercritical and to overanalyze our art. And I've said this a million times, I feel like this is a really rambly video, but I don't have much to say. I guess this isn't how to not be discouraged by your art, it's artists can be discouraged by their art, and I'm letting you know that it's okay. I don't think you should, because honestly, I think all art is beautiful. Whether it's a sonic chip or <laughs> it's, you know, an amazing Mona Lisa. I think they all have, you know, something special about them. <laughs> I would encourage you guys to share your art with me and I would love to give you either critiques or uh, boost positivity. Uh, I usually do both because in that amino of critiques I usually 
say, oh, I really love this. Maybe this could use some improvement, but I also really like this, you know? I do, like, a little compliment sandwich, and I don't know. That just seems to work for, work for me. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me talking about this, whether it's rambly or not. I feel weird with my face on camera. Um, I don't know. I need to get over that, but... Anyways, I just want to let you all know that you're not alone, and I would love to hear from you guys on my social media. It is in the description below. Uh, yeah, and I will see you all next time. Bye!